Hello everyone, this is Hank. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the kin and multiple exposure mode um, and how it works. Okay, the last time I had a video on using the multiple exposure to reduce the high ISO noise, but today we are going to talk about the general workings of the multiple exposure. Okay, I happen to use the uh, Canon R6 Mark I for demonstration, but this should carry uh, through, you know, the rest of the Canon cameras. Uh, some camera will have more option or less, but uh, they are basically the same. Okay, with that, to access the multiple exposure mode, we need to uh, get onto the menu. So you press the menu button, locate the red menu number five, which contain multiple exposure. Okay, so that's the option to turn it on. So by default, it is disabled. So when you press the set button, you get another menu. The multiple exposure still disabled at this point, but it will allow you to set the uh, different settings for the mode. Okay, so I'll try to explain each of them for you. So before we turn it on, we can set it ahead of time. Okay, so the multi-exposure control, that is how you control the exposure for your shots. Okay, so it has uh, four different choices. Okay, the first choice would be additive. Additive, as the name suggests, it adds the exposure for each of the picture together. So if you take two pictures, it will add it. Okay, the, the catch of that is like you have to worry about the exposure yourself. Because if, if you take the first shot uh, correctly exposed and the second shot correctly exposed, the end result is going to be too bright because it add those two together. So be careful about that, okay? And uh, uh, we'll talk about the average. When you set it to the average, instead of worrying about the exposure at the end, you let the camera take care of it. It will take the average of all of your shots. So uh, the exposure is going to be generally more right than additive. Additive, you have to do it yourself. Uh, the bright one uh, is very different, and this is where you can do a lot of artistic um, thing with it. Is like you take the two pictures or three, or you know, you can do from two up to nine. Okay, so it'll take the bright, the brighter part of each picture, and it'll keep the bright, the brightest one of all the pictures you take. And all the dark one is going to be replaced by the brighter one f from other images, if you get what I'm saying. So it prefer the brightness, the bright part of it, okay? Uh, and then in reverse, you can choose dark, and then it'll, it'll take the dark, the darker of the pictures, and that is what it's going to show you. Okay, so um, so the number of exposure I briefly mentioned, you can go from two to nine. Okay, today uh, in the examples, I'm going to just use two to keep it simple. Okay, and then um, this, not all cameras will let you do this, but this particular camera let you save the source images. Okay, so if you choose all images, and you take two exposure, so so it will save the two that you take, plus the resultant image that after it mixes. You know, so you have three images. So it's always like the number of exposure that you choose plus one, and it will save all of that in in raw format. So that is useful when you are going to use those individual pictures 
uh, in post-processing to merge them yourself instead of relying on the camera, if you know what I mean. So, so you would choose all image. Or, of course, you have a choice of just the result. So the one that is adding and subtracting and combining, it will give you that and then nothing else. Okay, um, today, in the examples I'm going to give you, um, I don't really care about doing it in Photoshop. So I'm going to just do result only. Okay, and then the last option here is one shot only means that once you activate the multiple exposure and you finished with it, and then it'll revert back to the normal shooting mode. Okay, and if if you continue to do it repeatedly, then continuously will give you that. Today I'm going to give you multiple example, so I'm going to keep on continuously. Okay, now uh, down there is a select image for multiple expose. Right now it's grayed out. You can't do it because multiple exposure has not yet been enabled. When you enable it, it gives you a choice of choosing an existing picture in your card, okay, uh, and use it as the first picture. So you don't have to take the first picture real time. You can take it like yesterday, and then uh, and then you can combine it. One catch is that it has to be a raw file, otherwise you cannot select it, okay. So um, you need a raw file for the first image. All right. So with that, I'm going to enable this. Okay, when you enable it, it gives you two choices. One is a function control on. And the other one is turning on but continuous shooting. So like in the previous video, okay, I mentioned that you, you use the multiple exposure mode for the purpose of reducing the noise. So you're basically taking the same picture. In that case, you don't care about setting the different exposure. You don't care about uh, delaying uh, so that you can go elsewhere and take another shot. So you use continuous shooting, it'll, it'll keep taking. So uh, so if you, in that scenario, you want to switch over to continuous shooting. But I would say 98% of the time you use the function control on Okay, so today we are going to choose that. Okay, so now, and uh, uh, for the first few examples, I'm not going to select an image that I already have. I will do that a little bit later, but right now, so I'm going to take just two pictures, okay, and show you the result. Okay, so first of all, we are going to choose the additive, okay, which is the first one. And then uh, to start shooting, you press the shutter button halfway, and then you're ready. So today I'm going to take this figurine. So I'm going to take the first shot. Okay. And I'm going to take the second shot uh, of the same thing, except I'm going to move it. So this is what we call a double exposure here. I took the second picture, and it'll process the picture now. Okay, you see here, because when I took the picture, okay, the, the, the picture was correctly exposed, so we do two pictures, and this thing is a little bit brighter than, than it should be. Okay, so, so that is the catch. Attitude, you kind of have to worry about that. Okay, so now let's get back. We're going to choose. See, because I choose the uh, continuously, it, it stays on this function. Okay, so instead of additive, I'm doing average. Okay, and, um, and so we're ready to shoot again. And this time... Again, I'm going to shoot with um, with the right exposure. Take the first one, and then second one just like this. OK, 
Okay, so as you can see, the effect is basically identical except that this time the exposure is correct because the camera takes the average of the two. Since the two exposures are identical, it's kind of multiplied by two, divided by two. Okay, so so the the uh, so the average it, the the exposure is the same and correct versus the previous one, which is brighter, double bright. Okay, so that's the only difference between these two modes. One, the camera takes care of it yourself. So now. What it means is like when you use additive, what you need to do is do a minus one for two pictures, minus one, minus one. And when it added up, it will be zero. Okay. Now, if you take three pictures, the manual says that uh, you do minus one and a half for each of the, the three pictures. So you got four, you do minus uh, two, okay, for four pictures. And um, you just add a, a half on top of it each time. Okay, so minus 2.5 for five pictures, uh, and so on and so forth. Okay, so those are the two effects. Okay, so now we are going to use bright. Okay. We are going to do the same thing, except we are going to do the bright. Okay, so I'm going to just take a picture, one shot, move it over here, take, take another shot. Okay, now we're going to view it. And uh, this thing, it doesn't really look anything different. The reason that it doesn't is because our subject is brighter than the rest of it, so um, it will choose the bright. Okay, so in effect, the additive and the other one uh, and the average are, are basically doing the white part, but it, it doesn't do it quite as well for the white replacement, but, but it's very similar. But what is really different is going to be the dark one. Okay, so let's change to that. Okay, remember dark. After we take two pictures, it's only show you the dark part of the pictures. Okay? So the first picture and the second picture. Okay? And the result is like all of the whiteness from the subjects are gone. So it's only show you it favors the dark. Okay, so now you might be thinking like, what good is this mode? But however, you know, if if, if you you have a silhouetted picture, okay, and then you can mix it with an another picture with a, a interesting background, and the silhouette is going to be replaced by that. I'm going to demonstrate that to you, um, and then give you a pretty good idea, right? Okay, so uh, so what I'm going to do now is to uh, do this thing again, and I'm going to use dark mode. I'm going to go backward, okay? But this time, I'm going to select an image, okay? And uh, I have this image, which is uh, it's not complete silhouette, but it's a darker image of a, a figurine and a white background. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna press set to choose this one as the first image. So this is like you you can pre take a picture and then use it as the first image. Okay, and then uh, just bear with me just one second. Let me. Okay, so um, I'm going to take uh, the second image. So we already have the first image, right? So the second image is superimposed here. 
that that you can see and I don't really I don't really want this figurine but we yeah, might as well do that I also have a background behind figurine so I'm going to put the um, figurine here maybe here because I can see better okay so I'm going to take a picture Okay, in the dark mode, uh, what is interesting is that you see the background, the bright background of the, the wooden figurine uh, is all gone, replaced by the second picture background. Okay, but the figurine, because it was a lot darker, it shows up very well. So is the figurine that we we had okay and uh, because the figurine is lighter I mean uh, I mean darker than than the background for the the first image which was really bright so therefore it it all showed up okay so this one will give you a little bit more uh, of um, of artistic uh, mixing by using dark, okay? Okay, so now, instead of taking dark, let's take white. All right? And again, I'm going to select that image. Okay, set, I'm going to choose, oh wait. Uh, this is not the image I want. This is the image that I want. Okay, um, so now we are going to do the same thing. Okay. Now remember that we are using white. Okay, so what happened here? So it, it, it it will show you the white of the two, okay? And the the first image that we use, okay, um, the place where the, the girl figurine was, okay, the background of the first picture is brighter, so the figurine is completely gone in the dark, the the girl figurine showed completely right remember this one she showed completely but now because of the white because it favors the white okay and the part of the white showed up you know so mixing with the dark image so so when you are taking a silhouette picture of, like, say, a couple, what you want to do is take almost a silhouette of them with a white background, and then you can mix other stuff in there using using either the white uh, or the dark. Okay? So uh, keep that in mind when you do this. Okay. Okay. Um, For the um, for the average, I'm going just to do average, but not additive because they are kind of similar. Um, okay, and uh, again, I'm going to use this picture here as the first one. Okay, then this picture is the second one. Okay, as you can see that that um, in average and additive, it kind of mixes everything together. So, depending on what the effect you're looking for, um, you know that's what you do. All right, uh, with that, I think um, we have covered everything that we need to. 
except for one little thing. Okay, uh, when you do two, it doesn't really um, work. But when you do three or more, you don't have to do. Okay, let's let let's show. For example, I'm using five. Okay, I'm not going to pre-select an image. Okay, so so when I do this. Okay, for example, I'm going to take the first picture of like this. Right? And then I can do like a second picture. Like say, like this. But for whatever reason, I, I changed my mind. Can I do something about it? And the answer is yes. Okay, so what you need to do, at least for the R6, uh, you kind of have to check the manual for your camera because they are slightly different. But for the R6, you press the play button, which is the preview button. Okay, and then another submenu showed up and said that press the trash can for something, right? So we are going to press the trash can. Okay, it gives you the option of return to the previous screen before let's let's try that okay which is the one that we just just came from okay so you press this so that's the first one and then this one is undo the last image okay so that is what where the rubber meet the road so to speak so if you don't like the second one Or the first one, you just say okay. Okay, so so now, now it goes back to the second one. So now instead of there, I can like move it over here a little bit. Okay, so I can change my mind now. Okay, and then I'll I'll do another one over here. Maybe right here. Okay, so now I can press the <coughs> the review button and then the garbage button. And then the next one, okay, I still have two more shots, but if I'm happy now and I just don't want to go on with it, I can save and exit at this point. Okay, and then I would just save the three. Or I can exit without saving at all. So cancel it. Okay, so I don't have to like take all the pictures. Okay, so it gives you a way to, to get out. So in this example, I'm going to get out now early. Okay, ask you to confirm. And the result in picture... Hmm, where is it? Here it is. Okay, the result in picture is just the three. I've canceled the five. Okay, so I only got three. So that's basically uh, everything that you need to know about multiple exposure. Okay, with that, I thank you very much. If you haven't, I would appreciate a, a like from you and or a subscription. I really appreciate that. Thank you.